Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, a few days ago, maybe you may have missed this, the CEO of Renaissance Technology, Robert Mercer, has resigned as CEO. Uh, I think this was on Thursday, uh, November 2nd. And basically what he was, he's a billionaire, funded um, Breitbart or owned parts of Bart Bright, Breitbart. Uh, he funded Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, and he was a big Trump supporter as well as his daughter. So um, a lot of that caused controversy among uh, some of the staff, specifically a manager a few months ago with Renaissance. And apparently a lot of other um, staff were, were not very happy with the move. And... Basically, there's 300 employees at Renaissance Technology, and about 90 of them are PhDs. So as a result, he, he, he resigned. Now, he was a partner as well as Renaissance Technology, so he helped uh, found Renaissance Technology. He's one of the biggest HFT, earliest HFT shop out there. And uh, what I wanted to do is to resurrect some of the stories that I put out uh, quite a while ago on Robert Mercer and uh, Renaissance Technology, because I think this guy was one of the key guys behind the early days of machine learning and um, high-frequency trading. So let's uh, do that. Okay, so if you were to type on my blog at quantlabs.net slash blog, just do a search on Mercer. Here's some of the early articles that you would have found. Um, so I posted some news about uh, Robert Mercer was uh, funding Trump, and uh, I love that photo of Mr. Trump. Uh, and here's the historical bio of the secret sauce for the um, for Rentec. So here he's he's doing a um, a speech. Uh, and then there's also this interview with uh, James Simmons, and they talk about the um, early days. So I posted this back in February 2016. Uh, historical secret weapon uh, of the Rentec HFT. Meet the genius uh, probably behind that laid the foundation to the firm. Uh, learn more by... Oh, uh, it's going to take you to... Uh, doing the same thing here. So uh, by doing these searches, so we have <coughs> Let me see what we got here highlight Video, okay, so this guy Mercer was the uh, key uh, Funding guy behind Ted Cruz and then he made the switch over to Trump But uh, we don't really need to go into that so do I possess a Forex automated trading Forex system for sale? Let me just see if I, what uh, that has anything to do with Mercer. Uh, well, let's see here. Um, let's see. I mean, in terms of high frequency, I introduced you to Robert Mercer, who's co-head of Renaissance Tech. Yes, he's a smart guy, but he's also a software developer who is probably earning well over $120 million a year, I'm sure. Mm. Let's see what else I can dig up. All right. Okay, so let me keep going into my search results. Early Rentec HFT secret on machine learning. So... Which article is that? So here we go. So this came out January 2016. Um, so check out how I found out about this person. So this is what I was looking for. This link has expired. Ooh. So that means it was timed. Let's see what else I can find. I'll probably do another segment on that dude and see what I can find. Early Rentech Secrets on Machine Learning. Uh, uh, meet the Rentech. Uh, 
Okay, uh, this may be what I was looking for. Okay, so this is some of the other things I wanted to mention. So this is all the stuff I could dig up. So if you want to know, basically, um, the right article I've been looking for is this one titled Meet the HFT Rentech R-E-N-T-E-C-H Programmer Funding Ted Cruz. Again, Meet the HFT Rentech Programmer Funding Ted Cruz, which is Mercer. So Robert Mercer, the most popular political money man, Forbes, Wikipedia, Robert Mercer. Um, so let me just see what we can find on this guy on Wikipedia. Here he is, Robert Mer uh, Leroy Mercer. Um, early life. He worked in the Air Force Weapons Laboratory. Uh, produced good work. He, he felt it was not optimized. So he worked. He went on to a bachelor's degree in physics, mathematics, from University of Mexico career. Okay, so he joined IBM Research at the Thomas J. Watson Research Center. This is 1972, where he developed Brown clustering, a statistical machine translation. So you can see how important this guy is. Not only that, but he was part of a speech recognition and translation research program led by so and so. Um, Mercer received the Association for Computational Linguistics Achievement Award back in 2014, and I think that's what that speech was about. So you can see the kind of work that he's worked on, as I said before, um, I mentioned this before in past videos, where statistical machine translation technique is part of speech recognition. Now, when it comes to machine learning, I would say capital markets and linguistics, or in this case, machine, or sorry, speech recognition is the two hardest applications out there for machine learning. So this guy was definitely on it, and this is back in the early days of 72. Um, so he joined 1993 uh, after being recruited by Nick Patterson. So founder James Harris Simmons, Quant preferred to hire mathematicians computer scientists and physicists rather than business school. Mercer and a former co uh, colleague from IBM, Peter Brown, became co-CEOs of Ren Renaissance when uh, Simons retired in 2009. So here we go about the, the Medallion Fund earned 39% per year on average from 89 to 2006. That's why a lot of the staff are pretty well millionaires and will never leave. <laughs> They manage uh, $25 billion in assets. Now, if you think that's impressive, that was 20, 2014, they managed uh, $25 billion. Now, the, the more surprising one is Two Sigma, another uh, HFT shop, but they're double the size of this. Uh, I think they just broke through $50 billion, so they're huge. Um, and they're fairly, I think that was founded in 2010. So that's now the, uh, the, um, the, the, uh, uh, fund or HFT shop to watch. So he, yeah. So back in t November 2017, he's he's going to step down because he's faced backlash over um, Mercer's political activism. So I'm not going to get into that. Okay. So personal life. Um, so let's find out. Here's the interesting one. This this. Uh, book that he was mentioned in. So here he's mentioned in this book um, uh, so let me do a search on this guy. Uh, hang on here, let me just go back to the name of the book that he's mentioned in. So I think there was a little research paper, Logic for Programming, Artificial Intelligence and Reasoning, 2008, LPAR, November 2009, Proceedings. Okay, so that's the name of this book. Um, so let me just put... 
that's called logic programming logic for programming uh, artificial intelligence and reasoning artificial intelligence and reasoning okay so maybe this book it shall it be uh, this might be a different edition let's just see what's going on in this guy so he's mentioned here oh he's part of this organization oh, okay um, But you can see where he specializes in is in linguistics. So he was pretty top notch at what he did. Robert Mercer, um, uh, artificial intelligence. So he had a lot of. Um, See, there's some new stuff on here. Uh, we're not interested in his political view, but we are interested. So yeah, here's some of his early work that we've already mentioned. Okay, it was the dawn of the quants when Wall Street was beginning to appreciate the power of computers to turbocharge trading. Mercer and Brown set to work designing complex math models that made trading dramatically faster and their work eventually paid off. Primary work was to look very, very hard at equity trading. After some effort, some several years, they were able to produce a system that was hugely profitable. Okay, so we know about run tech. Goes on about his wealth. There's his daughter, I believe, Rebecca Mercer. So she's the one that's um, totally down with, with Milo Yiannopoulos. So here's listed as a computer wizard. Yeah, so you can see the influence that he had in, in the Trump circles and Trump campaign circles. But he's gone mainstream now with all the negative press that he's been getting. Yeah. Let's see if there's any machine learning. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, some news items I haven't updated in a while. So there's an interesting story here. So we have here. Um, uh, what are we doing here? Okay, American Born purchased a majority shareholding in the company. So tech goes on to reference a British company called Cambridge Analytics. Can be started as an experiment mining personality trains from social network data. Purchased a majority shareholding in the company who worked heavily in area of speech. Pro so yeah, see, so worked heavily in area of speech recognition, precursor to today's efforts in artificial intelligence personality and then executes behavioral micro-targeting programs. The company uses these micro-targeting programs to understand what people care about. So does that mean you could still kind of understand how um, do the same but for trading? But you could go on and on and on looking for this stuff. Um, let me 
go back to that Wikipedia article. So, yeah, statistical machine translation. That's his big work. Machine translation paradigm where translations are generated on the basis of statistical models whose parameters are derived from analysis of bilingual text corpora, contrast rule-based approaches to machine learning. Interesting. So here we go with the math. So now it's used in areas of mobile. But the question is, uh, can this be applied to trading or is this in the direction that uh, uh, Rentec uses? Let me just check out this one. Text corp corpus. I have no idea what that is. But you, I'm sure if you dug into it, you could find out some of the early work that uh, Robert Mercer has been involved with back in the early 70s. But very interesting. Thought I'd bring this up to you. Uh, and th this guy was the, probably the first guy at Renaissance Technologies to really take the uh, f their firm to, to that level that they're renowned for now. So I thought I'd just put that out there and uh, do a little digging for you because he's now gone. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Thanks for watching or listening.